Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly from Jish Review Show, brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Now, at the end of last week, I had a absolutely gorgeous piece of vape mail that I just want to share with you. Now, I'm going to have to split this over about four reviews because I was sent 11 bottles of the complete range from the Refuge Vapors from Ohio Dripper, Dripper Line. It's basically all their signature flavours in a higher VG and they sent me all 11 of them so we'll be, I'll spread it over the four reviews that'd be easier for you lot ones I want to concentrate on today are Porn Star To Die For and Poopel Poopel sorry oh, as you may have guessed I'm hardly dyslexic I was the only person who'd go to a rave and drop an F yeah Poopel <laughs> Sounds like a drunk person tries to say purple, which I should be able to do quite easily. Anyway, I'm going to take you through these. Uh, just take you through the bottles as per normal. Yes, standard, standard childproof lock. Um, when they come, this top bit has got heat shrinked plastic around it with the little tear offs uh, for the, like a tamper ring. Uh, warnings we've got on the bottle, Magatang nicotine, must be 18 years of older to purchase or use, keep out the reach of children and pets. Even got a little bit of advice there, uh, steep for 14 days, shake regularly, store in a cool dark place. And we've got the website address, uh, the Facebook address. There's a little one of them things on there, that n the QR reader things which no one ever uses anymore. Uh, what else we got on here? Ingredients. Da, 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 da. PG, VG, natural and artificial flavouring, nicotine. Got the strength on the front and also the size of the bottle. Right, I'm going to try to die for first. Now, a few of these, there's going to be about five of these that you've been given, hang on, you've reviewed them before. Yeah, that was in the standard range, not the high VG range. I'm going to review them again in the high VG range to just to make sure the flavour's still there. Because sometimes when they go high VG, something gets sacrificed. I mean, that's really annoying. Right, now, so I have made a few notes because each of these has got a different VG, PG level. Where are we? To die for is an 80 VG, 20 PG. So I'm anticipating this to be a cloudy little bugger. My weapon of choice will be the Sigeli 50 watt mod box with a Mutinex V2 on there. That's dual cord to 0.5. That's our little snifter. Now this one I have done before, but that was in their normal, I, think that, I can't remember, that was 60, 40 PV, VG or 50, 50, but it's now 80 VG and look at the gloop on that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's a smell. Oh, the smell that comes out the bottle just makes you want to drink it. Do not drink it. Just makes you want to devour it. Is oh, I've got a little bit of my finger hand. Mm. Apples, crust, there's some herb in there as well. What's that? Definitely nutmeg. Oh, and a little bit of warmth there as well. So there's a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. We'll get a little bit of that on the dripper and we'll give it a bash. Now, please know any opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I have not paid for the product. They have been sent to me for review purposes. Let's give it a go. Oh, all that cinnamon. Mm. Right. Yeah, we're going we're to start at 31 watts, which is 3.9 volts. And then we're going to go from there. See what we get. Oh, no, I mean. You'll be pleased to hear if you have had any refuge, refuge juices before that the flavour you know is still there. Oh, it's such a, it's like a just picked apple, and you get the cinnamon and the nutmeg just coating it. Exhale, you get the pie crust. Oh, and it's a lovely pie. Oh, it is just truly. Mm. As you can see, or rather can't see, but it's definitely 80-20. It's a cloudy little bugger. 
but yeah, it hasn't sacrificed the flavour by going up in the VG. If anything, the cinnamon's a little bit stronger. With the the actual pie, you you, you get proper pie filling. You can even taste like the jelly that you normally get in an apple pie as well. Mix that with the spit. There's definitely cinnamon, there's definitely a hint of nutmeg in there. And then the pie crust just flows quite happily over the top of that. Mmm, that's nice. Through the nose just enhances the cinnamon and the apple. And that pie crust, as I say, that just that's a lovely finishing touch. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to 4.4, or 38.9 watts. I have a blitter right in the living room. <laughs> still getting the nice apple, still getting the jelly. Lost a little bit of the nutmeg, but you're still getting the cinnamon. Cinnamon does hang around with the apple on the tongue, making a nice combination. And every time you breathe out, you're just getting that lovely pie crust, flaky pie crust. Mmm. Throat hit. There, there's a bit of throat hit there, but I always get a bit of throat hit with, with apple flavourings. I, I don't generally eat apples as they are because the acidity levels of them really play havoc with my throat. And you kind of get that with the throat hit here. You get these, the, the the juice of the apple just kind of hitting the back of the throat, and also the cinnamon warm. But it's not so much. It's not irritating. It's just warming. It warms the mouth. It warms the throat. It's just quite a nice overall feeling. So yeah, what you're always there. Yeah, I can wholeheartedly recommend that one. That is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. And we know there's apple pie fans who amongst you lot out there. So mm, yeah, get a chance, get some of that. Ooh, you spitty little bastard! Just give us a quick blowout, and I'll get the next one in. Yep, we're dry. Next one I'm going to do for your entertainment will be Porn Star. Yay! Another one that appeases the schoolboy humour in me. I'm vaping on a Porn Star. Yummy. <coughs> I'll grow up one day. It ain't going to be today, but I will grow up one day. Now, this is another one that I've done before. Oh, and it smells gorgeous. It smells like an incredibly creamy strawberry. No. This is a 7030 VGPG. I'll be interested to see how this goes now. I'm going to open it up a bit. Yeah. There we go. Don't want a 4.4 to start off with. That would be bad. Well, not bad. But... Right, we'll go down to 28 watts. Which is three point at the top end of three point seven volts. Mm, nom, nom. Throat hit practically non existent. It's just very smooth and velvety going down and just kind of massages the throat. It doesn't Tonka. Vape of Dutch and superb. 75. It, it should be good anyway, but it's really good. Flavour wise, mm. kind of the same going in, going out. There was a little extra push of the second ingredient going out, but going in, you get this lovely big dollop of strawberry jam. I think the best way to describe it is a big dollop of strawberry jam. You just gone straight over your tongue and covered up. But mixed in with it is this really fresh cream. That's not. And on the exhale, the, the, the cream enhances 
but you still got the strawberry jam taste on your tongue. So it was. Is really nice. It's another one I could quite happily do all day. It's non abusive, <laughs> unlike some, some of the flavours I've got, but oh, that's just so nice. That's nice after dinner. That's nice if you just want to sit down and relax. The cream really is coming through a lot now every time I eat. Hell, it's just it's this lovely thick. Double, it almost like double cream. It's lovely. Right, let's rank this up a bit. Alright. We're going to go to 38 and a half, which is 4.4 volts. Let's see what the flavor reduction in the flavour is like. Flavour reduction is superb. And a bit cooling. It's quite a warm day today, so it's quite cooling on the way down as well. Flavour the strawberries in, is beefed up. The cream's actually keeping up to be fair with it. I thought that was going to tail off a bit, but that hasn't. To be fair, it's just a lovely, a lovely blend of juice. It's how, it's how strawberry. Everyone in their collection, in their repertoire, has, probably, has got a strawberry and cream somewhere. But that is a very, 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 very good one. So if creamy fruits are more your thing, then yes, definitely take a look at that one, guys. Porn star. Because there's nothing quite like having the creamy porn star in your mouth. So I've been told. Anywho. <laughs> moving on to the last one. Papool. Which, if I have said it wrong, my apologies to Refuse Vaping. <laughs> now this one is one of the new ones well it's a new one to me, I think they've had it on their range for a while but it's one of the new ones to me and this one is a 7030 VGPG let's give this a blow out and with everything's going to taste of strawberries and green not a bad thing but yep we're dry Ooh. Now the first thing Ooh. first thing hits on there is toasted almonds. That smells bloody gorgeous. Should be an interesting one. that back in there and we'll just turn it out again no we won't lock it you twonk unlock oh, I am pressing unlock you div thank you that's better we'll go down to 29 and a half which is 3.8 volts Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's funny enough. It's another nutty custard. A very gentle nutty custard, but on the that's in the that's on the way in. Get this lovely vanilla with a, a sprinkling of nuts throughout. And these toasted almonds it does give it a kind of a little bit of a little smoky effect to the vanilla. Excuse me, custard. Exhale. The exhale just comes across as this wave of very creamy, silky, smooth caramel, which mixes in lovely vanilla nuts and the vanilla custard. Oh, that's something a little bit special, that's. Eh? 
Mm, I like that. Up. The vanilla custard is the first thing you get with this, this chopped toasted almond flavour running through it. And then you get this really, really, really smooth caramel. Just come and joins the party. And doesn't take over, it's not it just blends in with the first one because you've still got that vanilla. The vanilla custard is the taste that will stay in your mouth the longest. The nuts kind of fade off on the exhale, but then it's replaced with this caramel. It's really smooth caramel. That is rather nice. Okay, but, um, throw it. Midland. I'd say Midland for that one, mainly because of the nuts. Does give it a little bit of an edge on the way down. Favourite of Dutch and superb. Well, to be fair, all three that I've done today have been superb. I'm going to raise that up, see if it delivers anything else. And then that will bring me the end of this little segment. I'm going to go with 38.7 or 4.4 volts. Favour production, yet yeah, once again, an absolute fogger higher up. Fruit hits still remaining about the same. Before the caramels come through a lot more at the end. Definitely a more caramel, caramel, caramelly. That's not even a word. I don't care. Pick me up on it in comments. I don't care. It's a caramelly flavour. Does wash out, wash out, and wash over at the end. And stays around in the mouth, mixing more with the vanilla custard. But you are losing the nuts. But the nuts are nice on the way in. That, oh. Do you know what? There was no good way of saying that sentence, but you know what I mean. The almonds going in, mixed lovely with the vanilla custard, and the nuts kind of fade away a bit. Creamy caramel comes in to replace it, and then that mixes in with the vanilla custard. So you kind of got two juices in one, to be honest. You've got a nutty, slightly smoked vanilla custard going in. And you've got a creamy caramel custard, caramel vanilla custard going out. Best of both worlds. I could see me voting a lot that. That is the type of juice that I take to parties because I want to show people that I want people to try it, but then I wouldn't want people to try it because I want to finish off the bottle to myself. Yeah, dilemmas. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this little segment. Um, I will be doing over the course of the week the remaining three parts to this review to see what the other eight juices bring to us. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the department of Depa head of the department of inhaled vapors. Fuck me, you can't get your own title right, you knob. I bid you all a very good afternoon. If you have enjoyed what you've seen today, please like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. And I'll be seeing you again very, very soon. Goodbye.